our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and the ages of ages. Of you, save, O Lord, your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Abomination among themselves. 
I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in the land of oblivion? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come here to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn your face away from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me, and they compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintance because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come to you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Do not turn your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I have hope in you. Make me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I plead for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall not destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant. He sought to so no kiriye, and in the kiosin su, and he said, this is crisis me that the bulu su. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto me, to be this Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Let us pray to the Lord. 
patos, que tu iuque pagui plebmatos, nimpiai Christus elonas,
is celebrating in your resurrection and the ends of the world in festival for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. Having plundered the realms of Hades and raised the dead of long suffering, you met the murdering women and gave them joy instead of sorrow. And your apostles, you informed of the symbols of victory, my life giving Savior, and you illumined creation, O lover of man. Therefore, the world also rejoices for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. O plan for creation, O Lord, to you does the entire world bring as an offering the God bearing martyr saints, as being nature's first fruits. Have their earnest entreaties keep your church in a state of profoundest peace through the Theobos, O Lord, abundantly merciful. Those who are martyred throughout the earth and those who move their homes to the heavens, the imitators of Christ's suffering, and those who remove from us our suffering, here today are gathered, shown to be the first fruits of the church, having held it as the type of that above. And they cried out to Christ, You are my God, preserve me. This with the intercessions of the Theotokos, as you are most merciful. On this, the 27th day of the month, we commemorate our beloved Father, Samson, on this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Anekos of Caesarea in Cappadocia. On this day, the Sunday after Pentecost, we celebrate the feast of all the saints who are from every part of the world, those in Asia, Africa, Europe, and America, from the north and from the south. By the intercessions of your Immaculate Mother of Christ our God, and of all your saints from every age, have mercy on us and save us as you alone are good and love humanity. Amen.
present everywhere and filling all things. The treasure of blessings and source of life come abide with us, cleanse of all stain and save our souls, O good Lord. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things. The treasure of blessings and source of life Come, abide in us, cleanse us of our stain, and save our souls, O good one. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of our stain, and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men who enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men who enjoy his favor. Lord, on my lips and my mouth will speak out your praise. Blessed is the kingdom.
Dios mío, ten ti. God is wonderful among the saints. Bless God in the congregations. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, all the saints through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, they were killed with a sword, they went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had foreseen something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Peace be to you,
When a baby is brought to the church to be baptized, when we start the service of baptism in the narthex of the church, I ask the parents to give the baby to the godparents. The parents are always a little bit hesitant because they are giving away their beloved baby to the godparents whom they chose. But still, they feel that it is their baby. And it is so nice to see the baby looking at the parents, sometimes crying, not wanting to be separated from his or hers biological parents, but still, there is no other way. The baby has to be separated from his or her father and mother and be given to the godparents. And I even like to tell the parents, you can take the rest of the day off. Today, the godparents will be the parents of this baby, and from now on, you will have to share the parenthood, especially the spiritual parenthood, with the godparents. We do this because, as we heard the Lord saying in today's gospel, the one who loves blood relatives, he who loves father or mother more than me, is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. When we join the church, we separate ourselves from our biological family to join another family. To join the family of the saints, to join the family of the brothers and the sisters of the Lord. This is why the Lord said, yes, my, my mother and my brothers and my sisters, you know, my relatives, but my brothers and my sisters and even my mother are those who hear the word of God and do it. Baptism is not a family affair. Unfortunately, in the last few centuries, it became a family affair. And you know, most of the time it's just a family present for the Baptist. It was not so for at least 1,500 years in the history of Christianity, and it's not supposed to be so today. When a Baptist is done, the entire church family, the saints, the living saints, are going to be here to welcome the new member of their family. So after the one who is to join the family of Christ is separated from his or her biological family, he or she is brought here into the church. And after we invoke the Holy Spirit to come upon the water, to sanctify the water, to bless the water, in which this person is to be baptized, then this baby or this adult is immersed into water three times. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Because after separating himself or herself from the family, from everything that he likes or she likes, now, the newly baptized is to die to himself or herself and be resurrected to a new life in Christ. And then, the newly baptized, after, being, after receiving the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, is taken into a dance around the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And who is leading 
the newly baptized into this, uh, into this sense, who is dancing with the newly baptized around the gospel? Who is? You've seen baptisms? The priest? Who else? The godparents? And that's about it. Right? No biological parents. It is the priest who is called to be the father of the church family and the godparents. Because now the newly baptized is starting a new life in Christ. The newly baptized is starting to be part of the grace of God. It is starting to be part of the so-called periphoresis in theological terms. The Holy Fathers speak about this periphoresis. You know that peri means around, and poresis means what? To go, to move. <laughs> to move around. The newly baptized starts to move around a different reality. The newly baptized starts to be part of the movement of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit together with us. The newly baptized starts to be to be to move around with all the saints who are surrounding us as we hear this epistle reading. The great cloud of witnesses who are surrounding us. This is why we have. The saints who already joined the heavenly liturgy close to us on the walls of the church because we are joining in this movement with them. This is what Christian life is, to, is supposed to be like for the rest of our life. Hands in hands, moving around, working together with each other with the grace of God, with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How beautiful life on earth would be, how beautiful life in the church would be, if each member of the church would remember, I am called to hold hands and to move around together with the other members of the church. When do conflicts occur in the life of the church? When do conflicts occur in the life of the church? When one member of the church wants to have a different reason than the other members of the church. Is that not true? When does conflict appear in our families? When the husband wants to do something and the woman wants to do something else, the wife wants to do something else. Is that not true? This is why, by the way, those of us who are married, when we got married, after being crowned, after making our relationship part, once again with the kingdom of heaven, we're taken around again in this dance, hands in hands, husband and wife, together with the godparents, for wedding this time with the priest, to be in this harmonious movement. When does conflict occur between the husband and the wife? When he wants to do something, she wants to do something else. And the kids want to do something else. Working together. What would you like to do? Oh, I would like to do this. What would you like to do? Oh, I would like to do this. Okay, maybe let's do what you want first and then we'll do what I want. This is what it means to be a saint. St. Maximus the Confessor, one of the Holy Fathers who spoke a lot about this pericolesis, about this moving around that exists between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This moving around that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit imprinted in the whole creation because the whole creation is in this moving around. This moving around that we are to be in. St. Maximus the Confessor 
also spoke a lot about the fact that there was a real will, a real human will in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in a very real way, he offered his real human will to God the Father. This is why he is the quintessential saint of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because in him, finally, one human being offered fully and completely his will to God the Father. As we will see in today's bulletin, I put a beautiful passage from the book The Mount of Silence by Kyriakos Martinez for this reason. But the Maximus tells Kyriakos what a real saint is. Someone who attuned his will, his ego, with the will of God and the will of the saints of God. If we want to experience the kingdom of heaven as much as possible on earth, in our church, in our families, in our workplaces, we have to know to adhere our will with the will of God and the will of the people around us and to find the peace and the righteousness of God. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
together with your Lord, fall into the life giving spirit. Now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Here in Ipasi, peace be with you all. Amen. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may confess.
came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us and the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have for no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets in one holy, healthy, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us to have the temptation, and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Hear me, Pasi, peace be with you.
Let us worship thee, give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. That you keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. When you pray for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves unto one another and our whole life, Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for you are our sanctification, and we will give glory to the Father and to the Son.
zaman raz. Glory to God that are faithful for bringing us together today to worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to receive the body and the blood of the Lord and to become one with God. I want to give special thanks to all of you who gave so much of your time and talent back to the Lord and volunteered at our Greek fast and go. By the grace of God and by working together with each other and with the Lord, it was a big success. And not only that, but you know, talking about you know this working together and how everything, as St. Paul says, for those who love God, everything works together for good. On Friday, we're already running out of some kinds of food items. We're afraid that we're going to run, run out of it even on Europe. By the grace of God, Saturday was slower. <laughs> and we had the right amount of customers, or the right number of customers, and the right amount of food. By the grace of God, everything worked together. The only thing we have to do is to offer ourselves, to do our best, and then God will bring everything together. God bless you. Thank you very much for working together. Most of the time, it was a very joyful atmosphere. God bless you, and thank you very much. We are planning to have a church family outing at the Fort Wayne Team Caps uh, baseball game on Friday, August 27th at 7 p.m. To reserve your tickets, please text or call Maria Field at 219-616-9307 and deadline, deadline and payment is due by August 10th. We want to go out as a church family to have a good time together on that Friday evening for the baseball game of the Team Caps team here in Fort Wayne. So if you want to be part of this church family event, please talk to Maria Field. We are planning on having the 54th annual Green Bowl on Saturday, September 18th. Mark that day in your calendar. We are already, already making preparations for this another, hopefully, beautiful time and fundraising event for, of our church community. Tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m., we will get together as an Orthodox community of Fort Wayne. We will get together at St. John Chrysostom Orthodox Church to celebrate the Vesperal Holy Liturgy for Saints Peter and Paul. At St. John Chrysostom, they like to celebrate the Holy Liturgy for feast days on the night before so that people who go to work could come and participate in the Holy Liturgy in the evening. So this is why we are celebrating this Vesperal Holy Liturgy. So let's get together on Monday evening, tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m to celebrate the Holy Liturgy for Saints Peter and Paul at St. John Chrysostom Church. On Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., the senior men of our church will get together for the men's club. And also on Friday morning, I don't know why I missed to put it in the bulletin, but also on Friday morning at 10 a.m., our senior men will get together for the men's club. Next Sunday at 8.45 a.m., God willing, you will get together for matins and then at 10 a.m. for Holy Liturgy. I said you, not we, because God willing, next Sunday, I will join the Holy Liturgy in the church where my brother-in-law serves in Frederick, Colorado, because uh, this week we are going to leave for vacation. So uh, Father Michael Myers, the assistant priest at St. Nicholas Church will be with you next Sunday to celebrate the Matins and the Holy Liturgy. The following Sunday, for July 11th, we will have Father Lucas Christensen coming and serving with you, celebrating Matins and Holy Liturgy with you. And God willing, the following Sunday, for July 18th, 
Zitera, my daughters and I will be back in Fort Wayne and we will celebrate the Politikuji together on July 18th and we are going to have God willing again. We learned to see God willing, especially in the last 18 months. God willing, we are going to have again our agapi, our coffee hour after the Politikuji on Sunday, July 18th. Christ is among us. Even if I am not going to be in person with you for two Sundays, I am going to join the Holy Liturgy. And anytime, anywhere, you join the Holy Liturgy, we are joining the heavenly Holy Liturgy, and we become one with the Church, with the saints, with Christ and the Holy Spirit, with God the Father. So we will be one, even if physically I'll be about a thousand, a thousand miles away from you. God bless you, and for this time when I am away, I already talked to Father Henry Yarmus and Father Michael Sakran. If anything happens, don't call them, okay? Call the church office, and Kate will call Father Andrew or Father Michael, okay? They are waiting, they are on standby for you, but if anything happens, if you need a priest for any emergency, please, Call the church office. Don't call me because I'm going to be away from the phone. I promise. I'll be away from the phone and from the emails. But call the church office if you need the assistance of a priest and he will make arrangements with one of the priests. Christ is among us. And be good while I'm away. Okay? Because I'm going to come back. Please come now for the veneration of the cross. God bless you and have a very joyful day.